<laughs> Linux, Linux gamers, Steam Deck gamers. Oh, I got some news for you. Yeah, we're talking Linux 6.9 kernel. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hello, viewers. Not a beautiful day. Yep. <laughs> Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good or excellent. What? Now, Linux 6.9 kernel is out. And this is for you Steam Deck fans and Linux users. Anyway, listen to this. Listen to uh, Linux, 6, Linux kernel 6.9 release. And it's packed with improvements. Linux kernel uh, 6.9 has been released after several months of attentive development. Linux uh, founder Linus uh, Torval announced the final release on the Linux kernel mailing list in his usual relaxed, lazy, fairy style. He notes that while kernel contributors have reported a few regression fixes that haven't made it to me yet, none of them looks big or worrisome enough to delay the release for another week. We'll have to backport them when they get resolved and hit upstream. So 6.9 is out is now out. Nice if you get it, you get it. But what's new? Overview of six overview of Linux 6.9 features. Uh, Linux kernel 6.9 includes the usual glut of enablements, work for upcoming hardware and hardware related features that most of us aren't currently able to take advantage of. But there is plenty of stuff that is more relevant. Linux 6.9 debut, AMD P state, preferred core, support in AMD P state driver, and for Zen 2 and later chips. Hmm. Zen 2, hmm. Steam Deck, huh? Yeah. Anyway, says preferred core reach a higher maximum frequency than other cores and this kernel support allow Linux scheduler to pass high priority tasks to those cores specifically. Also included is Intel fast boot support which as the same implies uh, hasten boot speed how by reducing then it says in parentheses and in some case skipping close parentheses uh, mode set not requ required during boot previously enabled for uh, Skylake and above Linux 6.9 brings this feature to older chipsets for several years kernel devs have been working on a big update to CPU timer code which organizes schedules and enforces the timing of tasks and process in its Linux 6.9 it's arrives Thomas uh, Glexner has led the effort to overhaul the heuristics involved describes a few of the benefits it offers with regards to performance and power management then it says in all black this have been this, no there have been slight performance improvements observed on networks uh, centric uh, workload and Intel team confirmed that this allows them to power down a die completely on a multi die then it says SIC in parentheses uh, socket for the first time in a most in a mostly idle scenario it says additionally Linux 6.9 sees significant and if invasive changes to its work queue code uh, primarily to address some issues introduced by an earlier uh, change in Linux kernel 6.6 .6. a handful of tweaks to improve the CPU isolation also features the Linux kernel uh, virtualization mode KVM sees a clutch of assorted improvement including performance gain in emulated events triggered and during force immediate exit uh, scenarios Performance and improvements to case sensitive file and folders handling in extension 4. And then it says in parentheses, and other file system that uses it, close parentheses, is present with kernel now said to be trying a case sensitive uh, comparison first and then fall back to case insensitive lockup if that fails. <coughs> says here, uh, <coughs> 
Linux kernel 6.9 also nukes hardware vulner vulnerability in Intel Atom CPUs. Remember those? Which may follow a malicious actor to infer data value uh, previously used in floating points register, vector registers, or integer uh, registers. Then it says uh, device specific buffs include battery change control for Fujitsu laptops and a substantial performance boost on HP Omen 17 laptops, albeit with significant larger power draw and heal generation. Don't worry, it's optional. Then it says, uh, <laughs> says uh, there is also support for Lenovo uh, IdeaPad refresh rate. Then it says in parentheses, which you'll be shocked to hear us use to change this display refresh rate. <laughs> Close parentheses, fan speed control for Microsoft Surface laptop and the Lenovo ThinkPad ACPI driver now works with more FN keys. Then it says uh, Linux 6.9 supports uh, scores of Samsung wireless devices out of the box including an unspecified wireless keyboard. Then it says the, uh, in parentheses, thick looking gamepad controller, the cute, that's in parentheses, S action mouse, and the Galaxy Book cover, and HO hog P keyboard combo. Line, uh, Linux gamers, hmm? Yeah, here we go. Linux gamers with an Xbox controller fetish You'll be thrilled to hear that two of the most popular and pretty decent, I hear, third-party Xbox controller works in Linux kernel 6.9 through the XPad driver, uh, Snakebite uh, Gamepad Base X, and Gamepad RGBX. Then it says, an array of ARM-related improvements are on board, including Rust language support on 64-bit ARM processors, support for running in LPA2 mode, and improved performance thanks to better translation, uh, look aside buffer, T TLB <laughs> uh, usage. Now, <clears throat> other noticeable changes in Linux 6.9, uh, power efficiency tweaks in, Meteor, in Intel Meteor Lake, uh, kernel energy mode supports runtime updating, access to GCC name address spaces, larger fonts in frame buffer console, better memory bandwidth uh, tr throttling, uh, BTRFS uh, uh, throughput increase plus other fixes, uh, Cy Cyrus HD audio codec support more devices, energy efficient ethernet adds 2.GE and 5GE link modes, Realtek RTW88 Wi-Fi driver support, RTW8811CU and RTW8821CU, and then fuse pass-through support, and extension to a uh, file-based system now deprecates, and AMD FreeSync removed. And then it says, obviously there's a lot more to this release than the handpick highlight above, including a flurry of security fixes, scores of uh, finessing to various file system, uh, finessing uh, a fleet of effort to further Linux support for RISC v long, uh, long arch uh, sparsy uh, extension AI. Then it says, want more detail on everyone's new New in Linux kernel 6.9, I recommend combine combine through the two-part LWN merge uh, roundup, which provides uh, this this distilled rundown of the core changes, plus link to in-depth articles or merges details were helpful. And then it says, uh, "Do you want to use Linux kernel 6.9 right now?" If you're savvy at compiling code, you can as source code for the latest uh, stable release is available to download right now. 
do you want to use Linux kernel 6.9 but not enough to put in the hard work of building it yourself? You can wait for Linux distribution to package this release up for you and push it out to you as a software update. If you're on Ubuntu, that will be something never official. While newer kernels are backports to LTS release, those kernels come from the subsequent release, so Ubuntu 24.4 LTS will get whatever kernel is released in 24.10, but that's not until October. <clears throat> While other Linux uh, blogs often breezily recommend to do it using the mainline kernel builds uh, created by, Chron by Conical for internal testing not encouraged. Then it says in parentheses, uh, there's not sign, there's not sign may fail to boot in some situation. Receive security updates won't have Ubuntu specific patches. Then it says, uh, etc. That said, some folks do install Conical mainline to build in Ubuntu and use them without issues. If you can't wait, then those pre-packaged debs are an option, but use them at your own risk. <laughs> and that is that. So, uh, 6.9 is out. Yeah. And since it's talking about uh, Zen 2, <laughs> you know, the Steam Deck uses us, uh, what's it, uh, Zen 2. <laughs> That should help in the gaming department, but it also helps desktop and laptop. And for those savvy, uh, it helps those uh, savvy Linux kernel uh, uh, experts you know, that, that are very good at this. So another another kernel, another chapter, another update. You Linux fans are good. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sure uh, Pharonix will be following up on this. You'd probably go a little deeper. And see where the steam that comes in and, and all this, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, you Linux gamers are good. Someone said in the comment, kernel development is largely concerned with making devices work with Linux. It would be nice if devices that are computers were supported to a greater extent. x86 computers are uh, notwithstanding. It is a uh, struggle to get Linux on tablets. And it is uh, particularly non-existent on phone. And somebody says, AMD FreeSync Remove? Is that a feature? <laughs> then another person here says, no, but it's no longer needed since variable refresh rate is now part of the display port and HDMI. And then someone else here says, nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> another kernel, another chapter. Linux 6.9 kernel, man. So, yeah. You Linux users, you guys are good. Uh, you Ubuntu users, you're gonna have to use, <laughs> wait till 2410 uh, to get our 6.9 kernel uh, packaged in, and then go on from there. So another chapter in the Linux operating system universe. Linux 6.9 kernel is here. <laughs> yeah. Now, see if, see if there's any links in this article. Okay, there's one note. That's a link. And then, um, <clears throat> there's another link here. And then, there's, uh, it's about four, four different links. So, about four or five links. I'll leave all of them in the description box. And you can see them for yourself. And then go on. Yeah, <clears throat> but you Linux uh, kernel experts, you know what to do with this stuff. You're very good at it. You were using Linux kernel for years. So this one brought some new f some new features, some new improvements. So have have fun with it and enjoy yourselves. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy though. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek, Thank you. Poor Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.